All right, I'm here with uh, Trey Turner, offensive lineman out of New Orleans St. Augustine High School, one of the top offensive linemen in the nation. He's planning to uh, visit Arkansas January 14th through the 16th. His mom's going to be coming up with him. Uh, obviously, Trey, just looking at you, you had sur shoulder surgery last week. Kind of talk about that and how it went. I had surgery on my anterior limb, which is the front. Um, surgery went well. They tightened my capsule, um, uh, repaired my labrum, so I should be good to go. By the time someone comes, I should be back to full strength. We're having no problems with my surgery. I mean, with my shoulder. You were, you were kind of talking about how you know it makes you feel grateful to be a hundred percent healthy. Kind of talk about the challenge of just you know dealing with that. Uh, you can't do simple things such as maybe you know lifting your hand. I mean lifting both arms and uh, uh, can't take your own showers. Uh, I mean, you can't drive. You can't. You can't pretty much do the necessities that you usually do by yourself. So, I mean, you are grateful. Like when you sit back and think about what you can do and what you used to could do before this. So, I mean, it's like you said, it's a humbling experience, you know. But you get through it. What? Uh, just kind of talk about uh, the recruiting process. Is it? Is it? Has there been any surprises to you about the recruiting process? Uh, yeah, I got. Uh, the business aspect, uh, aspect part of part of recruit how people would try to uh, try to bait you in with certain things, try to you know with girls maybe uh, not talk about money and stuff like that, but uh, just just certain things surrounding the school and just how I I've never I always wanted to to be a part of this, but I didn't think it would be as extensive as it is and, and run as deep as it does. Then that includes the coaches, the players, and even the fans. So, I mean, you know, it, it's a good experience, but it, it took me by, by storm. Yeah, it was a shock to me. What, what was, what's, when was the first moment or first time when you thought, I want to check out Arkansas? What, what, what made you want to do that? When, when I first offered by Arkansas, which I, that was committed in July. I was offered by Arkansas maybe two or three months before LSU offered me. And uh, I want to say it was like the second SEC school to offer me. But that, that made me want to check them out even more because I knew that's all I wanted to play was the SEC. And uh, I actually was able to talk to, uh, I want to say, Demarcus Hodge. Yeah, I was able to talk to him. And he told me about the school and how, you know, how good it is. And, I was not that different from Louisiana, and I just wanted to check it out. I, I never got the chance to. Coach Petrino, Coach Robinson, and Coach uh, Klonakis made an in-home visit. Talk about your impressions of Coach uh, Petrino. Real cool coach down to earth. Uh, very funny. He seems like he's a genuine person. Uh, tell you the truth about each and everything. And uh, I mean, he, he basically told me his expectations. I mean which were to come in, play as a freshman, and uh, just dominate and do what I've been doing. And uh, I, like he said, I'm coming to a winning program. Uh, championships are being won, and you know, he said there's a need for me, and he, he wants me to come and play. Coach Robinson is your lead recruiter. Kind of talk about your relationship with him, Trey. Uh, me and Coach Robinson have a, a good relationship with each other. Uh, not he's he's different from other recruiters because Coach Robinson he he's a firm guy. What he tells you he means it, and I, I picked that up from him. And, uh, also he's a he's a, a older guy, and so he's able to relate to certain things. And you know he has a lot of experience with recruiting and, and with life in general. So like with certain things he helped me. I would like my shoulder, you know, telling me he, I think he had the same surgery he was telling me. He's telling me how to cope with it and deal with it. So he, my relationship with him is real good. Coach Klonakis would be your position coach. Talk about your impressions of him. Uh, not the average offensive line coach. Uh, he is a real cool dude, uh, exciting, up-tempo. Um, somebody I could, I could see myself being around because it seemed like there's never a dull moment with him. And uh, it seemed like he, he wants the best for you. Yeah, not just for you, but everybody that's surrounding you. And he, it seems like he is a natural winner, like he hates to lose. So, yeah. what do you, you're committed, currently committed to LSU? What do you say to people that say, 
you're a lock. You're in the backyard of LSU. You're a lock for LSU. What do you say to that? I mean, you know, to each his own. Everybody has their own opinion. And like you said, that is the the, the um, my school that's in, a, in my backyard, and that is the school that I'm currently committed to, and I am committed to them for a reason. But I mean, I'm still a teenager. I still uh, want to check out certain places and and see, you know, what's really that out there for me, and making sure I make the right decision. Because in the end, people don't have to make people don't have to live with uh, my decision. I do. Arkansas is losing three offensive linemen, two tackles, and a guard. Uh, kind of, kind of talk about maybe you know the opportunity to coming in and play it immediately at Arkansas. Uh, that's a big deal. I mean, everybody wants to play immediately. It's not one of those things that's at the top of my list because I'd rather come into a program, learn the system, get bigger and stronger. So I know when I dominate, I, I fully dominate. I don't want to just come into a system and, and play, but pretty much waste my years of getting thrown around and, and getting beat. But being able to play early, that is something big because nobody wants to come in and sit on the bench. <clears throat> when, when Florida hired Muschamp as their head coach, one of the reasons they, they hired him was they wanted to go to the pro-style type offense, which, you know, like Arkansas runs. They say that's that gets kids ready for the next level. Arkansas obviously runs a pro-style offense. Talk, talk about maybe the attractiveness about that. Uh, when Coach K and Coach uh, Robinson was here, they was talking about, you know, the plays they run, um, talking about some of the calls, and I picked up on some of the calls. Uh, so uh, that was pretty big for me, knowing that I, I'd be able to go in there and pick up the system relatively easy. And uh, on, on our run plays, we pretty much run the same way. Uh, and pretty much, it's not the same cause, but they all mean the same thing. They just have different words. So, so. what's your what's your goals as a freshman? Uh, my goal as a freshman is to come in and be one of the most dominant players of my class that's coming in. Uh, another goal of mine is I want to make freshman the uh, SEC freshman. Uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully, I can make. Uh, um, can can a freshman make all American? Yeah, all American freshman team. Yeah, I, I want I want to be all American uh, in my position, and I just want to be I want to be known as, as the best freshman and the best overall player to come in down and dominate on the offensive line. Period. What's the one thing that you have to do to get on the field next year? A big factor of me getting on the field is, is me being coherent and listening to each and everything and soaking in everything that, that I'm that I'm given. A lot of people mistake it for being all uh, athletic ability and it's really not. It's about what you know and what you've learned and applying that on the field. Basically technique, um, little things that, that will give me the advantage against my opponent, certain things like that. As people can see, you're you're obviously a well spoken very sharp young man. Have you given thought about what you may possibly want to major in in college? Uh, right now, I'm all over the place with that. From from things being, you know, maybe physical therapy to business management to uh, uh, what what else? I, I want. I thought about being a registered nurse. And that, that's a lot of school time. So, I, but I, honestly, right now, I I don't know. I know Arkansas is a great business school, and uh, they have a lot of ties to the clinics up there, and I, I know they have a lot of a lot of good things going up there, but right now, I, I don't, I don't, I, I truly don't know what I want to be doing. Let's go back to this season. What's the one play where you, afterwards you went, wow, I can't believe I did that? Uh, actually, that play was on defense. It was on defense, and uh, we played watch a top, in a watch a top. Uh, it was the first play of the game. I, I want to say the score was... 2021, we were up, and it was been maybe 13 seconds in the game. They were on maybe 40 yard line, wind blowing, it's freezing. <laughs> uh, I was on defense playing the nose, and we was in the three man front, and I started to rush. And you know, the ball snap, I, I rush, I ball rush, uh, got past the triple team actually, <laughs> and uh. They, they were slanting to the right, no, to the left, excuse me, to the left. And uh, the quarterback went to the right. And I ran around, and I, I saw him uh, getting ready to throw the ball up, and I jumped. 
And when I jumped, I came down them and, and fell on them so hard. And that would make me be like, why did I really just do that? And we ended up getting the interception by me doing that. And uh, we won the game, first round of playoff. What's uh, some of your news, New Year's resolutions in regards to football? Uh, rehabbing my shoulder as quick as possible. Making sure my body is ready to take uh, what, what I'm getting ready to go into this summer with football so I can be ready. What's the one thing that you you have to you you would like to take with you from home to college? <laughs> my mom's cooking. What uh, what's what's her, what's what's the one meal that is your favorite? Uh, barbecue shrimp. <laughs> barbecue shrimp. Yeah. Uh, favorite movie. Favorite movie. Uh, let me see. I like the. Uh, Pineapple Express. Yeah. Favorite TV show? Uh, Phineas and Ferb. What's the uh, What's the one thing that you can cook? It's real good. I could cook. <laughs> um, let me see. I could cook a few things. That's good. Egg and rice. <laughs> one word to describe yourself. Um. I was spoken. Ten years from now, Trey Turner will be on your TV screen, making tons of money. <laughs> Thanks, Trey. No problem.